Well, hello there. I'm back. Like, I don't know, like four hours later. Because <laughs> I literally have just been working. Nothing cute going on. Um, I am on my lunch break. And now, I am just having some ramen noodles with um, one of the new LaCroix that just came out. And I actually, um, I have been using a liquid um, enhancer. It's kind of like the crystal light, like little things that you use. And so I just recently discovered that if I put that in here, it would literally taste like a soda. And so that has been my new obsession. I've been doing a LaCroix with a, um, with a liquid enhancer. Oops. Don't judge me. I really need to clean all that over there. I know. I know. It's okay. It's in spring. We'll get some spring cleaning done. So I'm off work. We are officially heading into hump day, which doesn't really mean anything, but you know, I feel like once Wednesday gets here, especially because I'm off on Friday, things are looking up. Things are looking up. It hasn't been a bad week at all. It's been a quick, actually. <laughs> Tuesday's done and now we're at hump day. So, um, yeah, so not much is going on with me. Just doing my check-in. I decided that instead of, like, going to my garage um, and kind of, like, ending the vlog, because uh, I don't even know if I'm going to end it here, but I do have, like, this tripod that I got from the thrift store, and I just decided to kind of, like, set it up as if I was doing a sit-down video. Um, I don't know, just to kind of see how I would like doing these videos in my room. I already have some sit down videos in my room, but because now that I have the garage, I have, um, I can be a little bit more versatile with how I do these videos and where I do them. So you know, I somehow, for some reason, just decided to kind of like do this part of the vlog as like a sit down, um, even though I really have nothing to talk about other than um, the George Floyd um, verdict came in today and that cop was found guilty. Um, which is weird to find like relief in that because there was a part of me that was thinking, um, this is going to be another Trayvon Martin. Um, it's just, you just aren't guaranteed, um, justice, I feel like when it's between, um, a black person and a cop. I just, I, yeah, I'm, I just feel like history hasn't shown um, to always be in our favor with certain things even though it's caught on camera and how grotesque it was and it was like one of the biggest events of history um, we were having a pandemic in countries not even just America just like people were coming out of their homes in different countries to protest and it's weird how you can see that and almost kind of like see glimpses of hope in that and then get to the point where it's time to decide like if justice will be served and then still be nervous <laughs> because that's just like the world we live in and it's scary and ratchet and uh, you know I, we're just down for the ride until god says come home um so yeah that was something major um for today and i intentionally had not been following that trial at all um because i was nervous i was this could easily be a trayvon martin case and um you know the jury could be there and just say well he was doing his job and it's not his fault that this you know George Floyd died like all the different things in my head coming up on why they would find a reason to let him go and have it be justified and to see it kind of come back I feel like rather quickly um I like I said I wasn't following it but it seems like the case ended officially like the defense rested um Monday and for them to kind of like come back um today felt like it seemed pretty open and shut um that this was wrong and it shouldn't have been done like that um which maybe could open the door for you know more reform or just like a difference in practices and you know i'm not even gonna get into that but um there is just some relief um in a weird way um for that case <laughs> so but it's not over, you know, because uh, like I mentioned on the vlog before, I was just on Saturday, you know, crying over all the stuff with Dante Wright. So this stuff just continues. It's just a loop. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's the world for you. 
In other news, um, I will give an update that yesterday I shared that I posted a um, kind of like a graphic on Instagram saying um, you are beautiful and I'm basically just providing this introduction of me just wanting to have um, invite more affirmations or actually just in affirmations in general I feel like I've never really done well at looking at myself and um, refuting the lies that I believe for years and that's gonna take some practice because like I said I believe these things about me not being pretty about me being ugly uh, for years and I've allowed like other people to kind of like sow those negative seeds in me as well and I just think it's time to no longer allow that to have power over me and so it was interesting when I posted that where I wasn't really expecting a lot of um, feedback or comments and so when I posted it on Facebook like almost I feel like instantly um, I received like you know the affirmations and then um, even other people saying that they relate and and like always like when you're posting something about you're not feeling um, pretty and someone says the opposite and they affirm you it's always great um, it's always special to receive a compliment um, saying the reverse of what you think about yourself but I think the key and the goal that I'm trying to get to right now is that I believe it for myself. Where it's like it's one thing that someone can say it, but I want to get to that point where someone can say it and I actually like believe it. Because right now it's just like, oh, that's nice and that's sweet and I kind of needed that, but like I genuinely like don't believe it. And so that's where we're headed right now. Um, and it also was just interesting to see that other people have the same um, thoughts and feelings. And I, I say interesting, but it's also not surprising. Like I feel like this is something that attacks all of us. I don't know how men operate with this area, but I feel like women in general, I just feel like I don't care how pretty or beautiful the world has affirmed you to be. I think we as women, I think naturally are super concerned with our looks and you know how good we look I don't know maybe maybe there is a woman out there that has never doubted her appearance at all I can't relate <laughs> but I'm just saying from what I've seen this feels like something that uh, a lot of women can relate to maybe just on different levels and you know and I feel like it's good if we can just be transparent about that like I don't always feel cute I don't always feel pretty I feel ugly sometimes and it, I don't know it's weird it feels almost kind of like embarrassing to admit that like you do not feel cute and it's probably because we live in a world where we're just so vain and everything is based off of looks um, but it is what it is you know and I feel like the only way to uh, get to a point where you no longer believe that is just to face it head on and I mean, that doesn't have to be on public on a vlog, um, you know, letting the world know this definitely could be something done in private. Um, but I just figured I have this desire to create and I want to create something real. And so how much more real can you be than to just share the areas that you struggle in and that you would hope um, you're overcoming it hopefully will help someone else um, via this platform that I love so much. So. Um, that's where I'm at with that and I also kind of came across someone else on social media who made a similar post and which is interesting another uh, thing because I find her to be very beautiful so for her to almost kind of like post the same thing uh, kind of does show that there is like this dysmorphia of um, how we view ourselves and it's definitely from Satan <laughs> so we're not doing that anymore um, 2021 um, this is a new, this is a new decade. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to describe it, but we're, we're doing new things 2021, um, from here on out, 2022, 2023, however long God has me on this earth. Um, I don't want it to be wasted just in my cubby hole, feeling sorry for myself because I believe the lies, uh, that I've been told for you know for the last 30 years so now we're getting over that and that's that's the journey I'm going to embark on so that is my rant for today um just a few different thoughts that came up in my head uh, between that case and just my insecurities and yeah so one final note creatively um I did um rewrite um the episode for um kind of creepy which i'm thinking i want to change the name 
of the series that I've been back and forth on. Um, and I'm almost kind of wondering if I should make it more all have all eight episodes be like a found footage type of uh, thing because I love found footage movies. It's hard to like find them because like I said this one is going to be this first one. It's going to be in the style of the Blair Witch where um, I'm in the woods and I just realized that like, I really love found footage so why don't I just like challenge myself to make all of these episodes in the style of like a found footage. So that's the idea right now. I'm currently working on um, episode two in the style of found footage so we'll see if I can get it to a point where I really like it and I think I can execute it well via found footage and yeah so that's my creative update um, this is still something I'm going to film um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to do it Thursday <laughs> that way if I feel like super inspired and I feel like I just need to post this at least it's on a Thursday Friday Saturday where I feel like my engagement is like the highest on TikTok so that's kind of like what I'm thinking right now so this video is becoming pretty long so I don't want to drag it on any longer but that is just my Tuesday. Um, we shall see what Wednesday brings and that is all I have for you and 